Hey guys, I've been thinking about what kind of video to make and everything. I just got the perfect idea. What about machetes? No, I I know what you're gonna say. One well, machete, all machetes are the same, but no. Also, I'm wearing my T-shirt that I got from my buddy Dre. I said I'm gonna put it in my video and everything. So what I'm basically gonna do, I got two kinds of machetes. I got a red old army machete. And then I got a survival machete and everything. I'm going to show you in the videos here of the machetes. I just got to find a proper, some way to prop my camera up here. I need to get me a camera stand. I've been needing to get me one, but I've been bullshitting around. But anyway, I'm going to show you two different kind of machetes here. And also, you're going to see which ones there are and everything. So you got to know which one is which. And everything. And you can see I got a stick here. First up is a machete I got from the Army Knife Gun Show back in 2017. You yeah, can see it right here and everything. I'm gonna try to take three, hey, four or five wax on this stick right here so you can see the difference between it. That's the standard machete right there. The army one. Now, here's the survival machete. I know what you're gonna say. Oh, one machete is all the same, but really, it ain't all the same. So you got a saw machete. In case you're out in the woods, you need to make a fire. You got a saw. Just so y'all can see what I'm talking about, there it is right there. Y'all can see the bottom part of what I'm talking about. Got that right there. And you got the... This machete right here is made out of circle steel. That means if it cuts you, it's going to bleed. It's going to cut right through bone, flesh, tendons, all that. This right here is made out of regular steel. And anyway, I got this for about $6 or so. From the Army Stores Plus sale back in the gun show. This right here I got from Walmart. It ranged me right about $19. As you can see, it went through almost half part of the board. I'm gonna say about five to six centimeters more. Let's try a different whack. As you can see, it went in a good three, four inches now. Now, for the regular old army steel machete. Didn't go in that good. As you can see, I figured this thing might be made out of saw, a lawnmower blade, or something like that. Because you can tell it ain't forged very good. It is made out of a very solid piece of metal. And everything. As the survival UST is made out of surgical steel, it forged very good. In case you're in a fire, you're out in the woods somewhere, or anything, you need to make a fire. This comes with a fire starter. And everything. Basically, if you're out in the woods, you have no shelter or anything like that. You need shelter to help you survive in the woods for a fire. This comes with it. Basically, you want to start your own. This has your own way to start your own fire and everything. If I can get it lit, you can see what I'm talking about. Basically, the ground's probably too wet to do that on. And everything. I can't get it lit. Basically, this is a fire starter machete. It's good for camping and all that stuff. And uh, it comes in handy if you don't got no matches. There's the sheath, as you can see. I know y'all can't see what I'm talking about very good because I don't have a tripod and all. Basically, as you can tell, in this right here from the log. Or a stick. Those three wax are from the regular machete. The ones down below 
there was a deep cut are from the steel machete. And there's the one you can see the deep cut right there. It's from the regular machete. Here's the ones right there. Basically, I know what you're going to say. Oh, more machetes are the same. No. All machetes are not the same. You got the good machetes, then you got the piece of crap machetes and everything. Also, Dre, thanks for the shirt. You can see my I'm wearing is on here. I'm going to sit this right here so you're going to see what I'm talking about and doing. And um, that way I can tell what it is. Now, I couldn't see from a very good far distance, but you can see right here. You see how it goes good chop on there and everything. It's made of surgical steel. So, you know what that means. Now I'm going to try to do a chop downwards. As you can see, it can go right through without no problem. And each whack I take, I'm cutting it deeper and deeper. And all. Uh, now for the cheap piece of machete. Plus this is a saw and all that stuff, which should come in handy when you need saw tree branches and shit like that. Now for the saw machete. As you can see, it took so much damage right here. As you see what I did in the video, I chopped it with a saw machete and all. Basically, I tried to chop down this way. Instead, I hit right there and it snapped the snick break. But let's try it again though. The whole stick broke. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna see if I can split this stick with this sorry machete. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other machete. Gotta find a hammer first. I'm supposed to do a video with my dad, but right now, he's in the house right now cooking and everything. But let's say, we'll just go ahead and do this video right here. I'm going to get out right here, I can see what I'm doing. And please, please, do not try what I'm doing. Just because you see a redneck doing it, does not mean y'all got to do it. Seemed like I got it stuck through. Yep. Looks like it, see? As you can see, it's already through there. In other words, I'm going to have to take my machete and saw through it. That's about a good 5, 10, 15 inch thick piece of 
stick wood right here. You gotta see right through and everything. And it's been sitting on the back porch. It hasn't been in the weather. It hasn't been in the rain. Or nothing like that. And you see how it went through it. So you know this is not really built for chopping. It's more for built like for blood flush trauma or anything like that. See, here's the other stick part right here, see? You can get good machetes. This one I got from the Canada Knife and Gun Show back last year, 2016, 2017. And then it's okay for a blunt force weapon. But basically, this is the one where if you ever want to go outdoors camping or anything, this is the one you want. Got a saw, got a flame starter and all that. If you have no fuel, the portable cords right here can be as, as fuel. All you got to light it and then put your tinder on it. Stuff like that. I will show you how this tendering working, but the ground around here is wet. I know. Uh, Now that I got a sharp point on here, let's try the other one. Sometime later on, I might be doing a shooting video. Even though it's against a lot of you shooting out of season, but hell. Alright. Let's try with this one. And please, please, again, don't try what I'm doing. As you can see, not so much. This is not built for chopping through. It's built for circles cutting. As this one is built for force trauma we use. Go for hard stuff. Well, that's how it is. I'm gonna do one more champ video here. Let's see if you can slice through this to about right here. Got it right where I want it. Got it halfway there. Put it that way. As you can see, that was made with, made with chopping. That one's made for slicing and cutting and sawing. This one is made for chopping. You know, so that's a base of a chopper, that's the base of a slicer. And everything. As you can see in the video that I just did. And also I want to also get out a shout out. If you go on BoogieBear.com, it's on Facebook. It's $25 for a t-shirt for adults, $15 for kids. And everything. Go on BoogieBear.com and you get a t-shirt like this by putting in an order. And everything. That's another shout out for you, Dre. As you can see, it's right here. I would do a longer video, but I gotta get that home. Back inside, it's child time. Have a nice day. Bye.